trade deadline episode of the Cleveland Browns franchise. But before we get to that, I want to show you guys something that happened in the last game involving the linebacker Marvin Fulcher that I will never forget. It was a beautiful sight. So what happened was Marvin Fulcher got injured. And then the next two defensive plays were fumbles. That's how much his defense loves Marvin. So you're going to take a look at those, right? Yeah. And it's Marvin Fulcher. Oh, no. One of the Browns' best players, Marvin Fulcher, the second-year man from USC. And Bob Boye just got injured, and now Fulcher is injured. The third-round rookie, Zach Rader, will be uh, out to replace Fulcher. As he gets his first significant playing time of the year. And it's a fumble! And it's picked up by the Bengals. Marvin Fulcher would have been there helping out Fulcher the sacks. had 18 and a half sacks last year when defensive rookie of the year. And this year he's killing it as well at that left outside linebacker spot as Dalton on third down is sacked. And it's another fumble! And this time it's picked up by the rookie, Denzel Yancey! Touchdown Cleveland! Two plays without Fulcher and two fumbles! Wow! Do we not need Marvin Fulcher? As Yancey almost got the sack, but instead he got his first NFL career defensive touchdown showboating at like the 10. Welcome everyone to the trade deadline episode of the Cleveland Browns franchise. I didn't know if I should make this or not because next week's our bye week. Kind of sucks that it's right after a trade deadline, but the good thing is we get to see the award race and stuff. So, the Browns. They really don't need a trade deadline. They obviously just acquired Odell Beckham, but they are going to be making some trades. So it may surprise you some, who knows. So let's get to those so trades. The first round trade, they're trading their next two fifth round picks to the Chicago Bears for Jay Ajayi. They obviously don't need a running back with David Johnson, but they could use that type, a power type of running back, and Jay Ajayi is perfect. Obviously, these two teams just made a trade. The Bears got the Browns' future six round pick. Four linebacker Demario Davis, who had a pretty good week last week. The Browns have made an interesting move. They're trading Casey Hayward, Chris Warren, and Noah Spence to the Vikings for Phil Lodehall and Joe Thomas. So Joe Thomas is back in Cleveland, which is very interesting. So the Browns traded Thomas at the end of his second season to the Vikings because they wanted to reward him for being so loyal. Give him to a contender. Well, that year, the third season, the Browns won the Super Bowl. And this year, they're 6-1. And, and not to mention, at that right tackle spot, Ivan Doss has allowed the most sacks in the NFL. He's only a rookie, I know. 21 or 22. He has superstar development, but Thomas will be the right tackle until he most likely retires. So, I'm happy Cleveland did this. Joe Thomas, he makes for offensive line better. Phil Hall. He's making too much money. The Browns are probably going to either trade him or cut him right now. I'm surprised the Niners did this. Uh, we are trading Phil Holt to them for a future seven. By the Niners, well, they were one of the few teams uh, not over the salary cap with Load Holt. So, uh, we get a future seven for Jason Bad, and we get rid of Phil Load Holt, which is a big win. Obviously, Joe Thomas is declining. He's played 12 years. He's already 34. He went from a 99 to a 93, and his development even dropped. Bills originally a superstar, now it's a quick. I'm very curious to see how Joe Thomas has done. Alrighty, so. He had a bad year last year. This year, he's not doing that well either. So, he's not that good, but Ivan Doss has allowed the most amount of sacks in the NFL. <laughs> I understand he's ripping. Let me just move him up. Alrighty. So let's see stats. He does have a two star element. He's 23. I thought he was younger, but that's fine. Yep, 14 sacks in seven games. That's pretty bad. Moses Cody. I'm trying to build a good offensive line, but Moses Cody is still getting sacked four or five times a game. Which is ridiculous. Look at this offensive line. Tyron Smith. Tyrell Rogers is 22. Lyle Collins. Trey Brandon is like 24. And now he is Joe Thomas. Why is he always under pressure? <sighs> and he has f four insane receivers. If Boye, once Boye comes back, Barry Davenport's going to be moved up to uh, tight end. But this is ridiculous. Hell, how long does Boye have out for? He will miss uh, about five more weeks. 
And I'm with this list of contracts, so Nicholas Mathis is ready to resign. What is he asking for? That's not that insane. Uh, let's bump it up. Okay, I'm not going to resign him now. But that isn't a ridiculous contract, though. If that's okay, I'll sign him for two mil a year. Uh, Cody Kessler and Dak. I don't think I'm going to resign Dak. I love Dak. Even though I hit the Cowboys. Uh, Cody Kessler, I don't know. Because he won Super Bowl MVP last year, but... I don't know. Uh, Brandon LaFell. Uh, I want to make for Brandon LaFell down the stairs. Joe. Derek Kindred, I don't know what he wants, so... Probably not. And those are the only guys who need to re- Okay, probably some other guys need to resign in, but It just isn't showing them. So, week eight against the Patriots. The battle of six and one teams. Take a look at the Patriots team quickly, led by rookie quarterback Javante Burley, not Zach McGraw, who, uh, yep, they don't have Zach McGraw. I don't know why it said they had Zach McGraw last week. Because we traded for Zach McGraw, and then we traded him for Giants and the OW. Their running back is, uh, second year man Earl McClure. He's pretty good. The fullback is Lucas Clements. Wide receivers, uh, Julian Edelman is still here. Danny Amendola is still here. So the receivers aren't that impressive. Tight end, they still have Gronk, who's still 99. They also still have Martellus Bennett. They also have Clive Walford. Nate Soldier is still on the team. Like and Tomlinson's on the Patriots. Dylan Rogers, who was in the Jamie Collins deal. He was with us for half a season. He's on the Patriots. Trey Jackson is their right guard. And Sean Combs is the right tackle. Uh, we obviously traded him Ezekiel Anza at the beginning of the year. Um, they also, he, Nigel Goff fouled the pick in the Jamie Collins deal. Uh, Nigel Goff isn't starting. Uh, Jabal Sheard is still on the Patriots. He can be at right end. A defensive tackle, Terrence McKinnon, er, McKinnon. Terrence Knighton. Uh, left outside linebacker, Carl Nasser. I believe he was in the Anza deal as well. Uh, Damian Randall L. I remember this guy, um, in the scouting because of his name. Damian Randall L is your middle linebacker and Nathan Snell and so they could kinda of use that. Uh Dante Hotower is still on the Patriots right outside. Uh they still have Logan Ryan and Malcolm Butler. They also still have Devin Cordy and as strong safety is Patrick Chun, so their secondary has not changed one bit. Chris Boswell is the kicker and Ryan Allen is the punter. Kick returner is Anton Antrim. Punt returner is Buck Stapleton. What a name. Uh, the guy doing the kickoffs will be Ryan Allen. A uh, one snapper is going to be Dylan Rogers. Third guy ready back with Clark. And practice squad is. Wait, they don't have anyone on their practice squad? No one has anyone on their practice squad except for us. I know we do, obviously. Yeah, see? This is our practice squad. We have a full on practice squad. But why do the other teams not have anyone on their practice squad? That's weird. Huh. Da 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 da. Huh. Oh, by the way, this guy Poe was a first-round pick this year. The Chiefs drafted him, they cut him. <laughs> That's sad. All right, I uh, hope you guys are ready for Week 8 against the New England Patriots. Then we're going to have a bye week special, and then uh, we're going to be back on schedule. Uh, hopefully, we see our guys out there in awards. Hopefully, Sykes is up there in DPOY. Uh, the Honey Badgers will be up there in defensive back. Uh, because he had three picks last week. Um... Put Moses Cody's high up there on MVP. Let's look at Moses Cody's sack. Sack. Stats. For a second. Um, these are stats this year. Um, the completion percentage has been an issue his whole career. But the rating, it has been gradually going up. As you can see, it's up by about one. Which isn't much, but it's pretty good. Um, he could he should have led the league in yards last year, but the injury that missed week 17 said no to that. Um, so we're gonna try to get the completion percentage up. Yards per game, he had more than, more last year than this year. Uh, let's see his rushing stats. He has rushed the ball three times this year. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Does he have any tackles yet? Wait. Nope. Alright, peace out, guys.